The stock market has been doing so well so far. If you look at the four trading days we've had so far in the week, the market has recorded an uh, impressive gain on Monday. It gained 0.17 percent. On Tuesday, the market, you know, there was a market correction uh, or profit taking, you may say, uh, because of maybe some people are, are taking cautious, I mean, trading cautiously uh, because the year is coming to an end. The market was down on Tuesday 0.44 percent. On Wednesday, it's rebound to 0.34 percent positive. And of course, Thursday, the market uh, gained 0.11%. I'm being joined now virtually by the head of capital market, APT Securities and Fund, Mr. Jamie Mohamed. Good morning, Malan Jamie. Good morning. Uh, it's good to have you. It's a pleasure to be here with you. All right. Thank you so much. It's good to have you always. Uh, let's take us through the current trading pattern on the floor. Uh, good morning, viewers. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here on the program with you. Uh, this morning, market uh, opened on a on a greener note, just the way the market has been for a while. And um, as we speak now, uh, uh, the market has traded almost two billion, and out out of, out of that two billion era of trades that has happened this morning, uh, satellite alone constitutes about one billion, that's about 50% of total trade in terms of value in the market as we speak. So uh, looking at the volume traded today, we have 66 million units of stocks traded worth about 1.9 billion. Uh, the top trade includes Seplat, which traded about 1 billion, uh, Airtel followed in a far distance about 145 million, and Jitco, by 127 million. So if you total uh, these stocks, these three stocks contributed uh, more than 50% uh, of what market trade. Even, even, even Seplat alone uh, shows that uh, the trade uh, uh, has contributed about 50% of total trades in terms of value in the, in the market. Now, as we speak currently, we have 15 gainers and uh, we have 10 users. 15 gainers being led by Ikeja Hotel, which gets 10%, and we have Northern, Northern Nigerian Flower Mills, which has been on the gaining streak for a while, is now the topping the uh, loser charts as we speak this morning. So, uh, market today uh, is reacting to, I have been saying this earlier, the information around the market are, 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 are fundamentals. The NCC is still on. Um, uh, 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 investors are taking position more uh, uh, on the part of uh, um, the the the, 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 the I mean, the honey that has been released so far. This uh, servers make uh, investor to be looking at what is the uh, good thing to do, and uh, the feasible way to do that is to go into uh, equity market because of the third quarter result that has been released so far. Um, this is uh, investor are positioning for the year-end result, which I believe is going to be a better one. Uh, looking at the fact that uh, we're having uh, some news coming from the economy, economy too, uh, we, from the fact that uh, we are expect, I mean, we have seen the uh, budget proposal being submitted to the National Assembly uh, for, for uh, these are uh, the things that are happening uh, as we speak. In the market, we have market fundamentals, which are the, the, the main news driving the, uh, the, the market, and uh, we have the one that's just coming from the coming as regards to budget being uh, proposed and submitted to the National Assembly, Assembly for approval. Mm -hmm. All right, impressive there, uh, Malan Jamio. There was so much uh, performance there. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm so uh, uh, in uh, in interested in knowing uh, a new uh, listed company like Mikio. I mean, doing so well. I recall when it was listed, the price was around two naira and ninety six cover. As of today, is twelve naira. That is a very huge lift, you say, for a company that is just less than a month on the trading bus. Don't you think so? Yes, uh, Mikio is an Indian company uh, that come out of India company, also a Nigerian company being established by India. Uh, is now on our front. It's, a, it's in charge. It's a, 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 like a diagnostic company, just like we have um, um, uh, one of these stocks that is uh, I've forgotten the name now. Diagnostic Union Diagnostic. So it's in line in the diagnostic health sector. Uh, it's a it's a diagnostic. Uh, 
company that has just been listed to our market. And I would say it's the one that is most prosperous as we speak in our market today. You see what Union Diagnostic has done, and they are not uh, currently in operation. For now, we are having such a company now uh, listed around two Naira, and they've also released their third quarter results. And the top of the results look good, though I have not had time to I have not have time to go through the details and to be able to give you what are those figures that is being there. And as we speak, uh, the investors are taking position in such company because one, the number of shares listed are not too much. And when you have a, a, a stock that is it is listed very cheap and also has uh, the number of shares outstanding in the market. Uh, it's not that much. You will see investors moving towards that. And the, the rate at which the stock will move up is uh, is is, uh, uh, is unimaginable. And that is why you see it at this level. Even at this level, if you're looking at the report, I mean, the result being released for the third quarter uh, is a good one. And also because of the fact that we are moving close to the year ahead that we'll be releasing, the auditor report of the company. I believe the investor must have had some hearsay about the company that makes everybody to be looking. And if you look at the even to that trade in a day, it's not that huge, except for yesterday that I traded about, uh, I think uh, it traded up to 10 million yesterday, uh, 10 million units yesterday. Since the things have been decided, it has not traded that much. But uh, even in the market today, you see that. Uh, the, the investor are still uh, looking out for that stock. It may likely be as a result of a major investor that want to take uh, a, a major share shareholding in that company that is uh, pushing it to this level. But as we speak, the company is sound and is okay according to the third quarter result that has been released so far. All right, fantastic. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, for there for uh, Mickey or doing so well uh, within a very short time on the boss there now let's look at the larger economy now uh the, you made mention about the budget that was presented a couple of uh, uh, days ago on wednesday to be precise but what i'm looking at now is as uh, how come is it appears that the market appears uh, uh, not deterred with all the challenges in the economy i mean uh, i mean even the least policy of this government is like a sweet melody to the ears of so many market investors why are we having this Yes, thank you. You know, I've been always been saying this, that uh, the market is being uh, uh, derived, whether in the green territory or in the red territory, uh, from the from the two major information. The information that comes from the market, which is the major, and the information that's coming from the economy, which is, I would call, I would not say it's not major, but I would say it's minor, because of the fact that whatever the fundamental, the market itself has its own fundamental. If the, there is news, good news are that fundamental, the market will, will, will react to that direction. Let's say, for example, if all listed stock are, are giving dividend that is up to 10% or 20% yield, Dividend yield on their on their on their releases. There's nobody that will want to go to a money market that is paying uh, five to seven percent or even less, or or, or, or office income that pays fifteen percent. So people wants to go with the uh, uh, equity market. So market fundamental on itself, which involves the any releases by this listed company, is the major driver as we speak into this economy, and that is why they know whether sooner or later. The economy, the news around the economy will become either normal or become better. Because become normal in the sense that when you have adjusted all your uh, 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 um, uh, 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 housing or you adjusted all your figure, okay, you have adjusted all your figure to search what microeconomic uh, variables are giving you and become normal. Or the the government has uh, start to implement some policies and, and programs that drive the, the, the this uh, 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 economic variables downward, then it become better. So so to speak, we have not seen a very good uh, uh, shouting shouting from the from the economic figures. But the fact market fundamental on its own is the right one driving this because everybody believes that one day everything will be okay and. Uh, because of some uh, steps that government is being take is taking towards um, making sure some things are put in place, uh, is making investors to have 
uh, uh, serious uh, 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 confidence, okay. not only in the market, but also in the government, because of there are some steps that have been taken so far. Let's look at even the exchange rate parity. And is, as a result of that, the government has come up to say you want to narrow the gap between the exchange, uh, the exchange markets. I mean, both the parallel and official rate. So this moves alone is something that investors want to listen to. If moves alone makes the foreign investor to return back to our market. And if you see oh. the level of activities by foreign investor in our market from the month of September to October, as sorry, from August to September, the month for the uh, uh, November, I mean, the, the figure for the November is not yet out. But the movement from the month of September to October is there is improvement. We have moved to 10%. Before, we were around 8%. From 80% to 90%, and today, we are, and by end of uh, October, we are 10%. We are by some time of, uh, sorry, from August to September, by September, we are 10%. So 10% has shown that uh, there is improvement in the level of the activities of foreign investors. And this, when the foreign investors are participating in our market, then the, 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 the prices are tend to go up beyond this current level. And right. mark two, the, the, the number of uh, assets, I mean, the quantum of assets that our PFA has now, they don't have any other option than to go into our market, into our equity market, which we, we have, even though uh, 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 assets were segregated were segregated into different funds because it has the number of level. I mean, the level at which you can invest is a risky asset in each of these funds. So, so in this regard, in this regard, that's why the, those numbers that you are seeing in the uh, in economy, the, the the fund within and the the fund within is enough to push the market to the current level that we have. All right, interesting, uh, uh, Jamio. Uh, there are also uh, speculation that uh, because of the volatility in the FX market, people no longer, you know, want to put their money in the bank because uh, you can't, you can't, uh, uh, you know, rely. I mean, you don't know the value uh, of the, I mean, of the dollar uh, in, in the next uh, one uh, or thereabout. So people now prefer to move their funds from the uh, financial uh, market down to the uh, capital market. Uh, it's part of the reason why we are actually having this robust uh, market. What can you say to that? Yes, that's a perfect. Is perfectly said. You have you have cut it all because of the fact that uh, uh, the inflation rate, as you speak, is around twenty seven percent. Inflation rate is around twenty seven point three three percent as of today. And if you keep your money in the banks, the bank can only the maximum they can give you is five percent or seven percent. And six percent on twenty on twenty seven percent in from inflation rate. It shows that you are making loss on the money kept in a bank. Mm. But if you look at our market, as we speak, that today we have year to day return in the ma equity market to be around thirty eight percent, far, far, far ahead of inflation rate. If you go to fixed income market, you they will give you around fifteen percent. It's far, far, far below the inflation rate. So for you to have Head against inflation. What you need to do is to come to this equity market and invest in it, and then you get your return as soon as, even for a year, you can get your return as you speak. If you look at the banking sector, banking sector have garnered more than 70%, I mean, more than 70% year to day return. If you want to look at the sectoral, in the sectoral indices, mm -hmm. so these indices have gained. Greatly from where we were, as I said earlier, in 2000 and in 2000, I mean, in the January 2023, this year, January this year, access was trading around eight nine era, around eight to nine era. It today is around eighteen era. UBA was trading around that level too, eight era, nine era. Today UBA is around twenty one era. Uh, um, just bank the same, the same, something like that is in is in that region region too, and. So these stocks, you invest in UBA, for example, in January this year. What it means that you are gaining more than fifty. What is fifteen? More than two hundred, three hundred percent of what you have invested in in your stock. More than two hundred percent in what you have invested. But uh, even down to sugar was trading around fourteen era or so. And you know, the you know, two sugar is around sixteen era. So these things. Uh, what the investor have looked at and has realized that 
the most market that made them to hedge against inflation is to come into not only financial market but to equity market to take the advantage of this uh, return we, we are having in the market today. All right, uh, well said. Uh, let's look at, let's look at the budget uh, briefly, and of course the OPEC meeting uh, that was held yesterday. Of course, if you look at uh, when the president presented the budget a couple of days ago, he pegged Nigeria Nigeria uh, oil production output at 1.78 million barrels per day. But yesterday, uh, after the OPEC meeting, our production quota was actually reduced to 1.5 million barrels per day. Uh, for us, uh, this is uh, already is a, a big setback for our budget already. And let's look at how much of impact this will have, especially with the oil and gas segment of the market. And in the case of this uh, daily oil production per day, uh, it is expected at one era uh, at one one point seven million million per day. Per day. But if you look at what we have been uh, producing from January to today, and one point two million per per day. Per day, per day. So the issue now is that one point five that the OPEC approved, we still have the opportunity to increase it to one point five, and uh, this is this is going to be is going to be hand around the policy and the, the way um, uh, uh, um, federal government is able to address the issue of oil theft and other issues related that affect our our production that make us to remain at this level. Uh, and it's good for the government to have rejected that offer from OPEC because of the fact that that may hinder our revenue uh, 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 base or projected revenue base that want to support the, the, the our, our budget for 2024 so but as we, as we speak the government can go ahead to make sure that there is a um, diplomatic uh, uh, um, discussion around that to be able to make sure that we are uh, this this restriction is being lifted for us because of the fact that uh, over the year, even the quota that was given to us, we have not produced up to that level. As we speak, we are producing around, we are just opening around 1.2 million barrels in a day. So, so what I'm saying in essence is that if, uh, the government also need to do more than what they are doing currently to make sure that our output is greatly improved so that we will be able to support the revenue projection. Because yeah, 2024 projection, we are projecting to have revenue of about 18 trillion. But some scholars have seen that um, this figure is humongous and it is may, it may be unachievable. I, I'm not looking at it from that angle. If you look at this year alone, uh, the, the re revenue that has been generated has, has reached about 8 trillion uh, naira as of today. So, comments need to improve the the the. Uh, Tax collection uh, uh, measure, not the rate. Tax collection measure, so they'll be able to improve on this and also uh, making sure that the level of oil theft, the level of uh, insecurity around Niger data and other things uh, uh, that happen with our oil is being addressed. We will to meet up 1.78 million barrels per day that we have proposed for. And also, uh, government approach the, the, the OPEC diplomatic to make sure that this uh, restriction is still being removed for us with the fact that we have not been able to even meet the quota that is being given to us before now. All right. Interesting. The, uh, I was asking about the impact this will have on the oil and gas segments of the market, the lack of supply, Oandos and the rest of them. Will this in any way affect their share, okay. their share prices? Yeah, yeah, yes. You can see as we speak today, uh, 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 surplus alone has traded more than 50, around 50% 50 of total trade in the market. And surplus has gained 10% gained yesterday. He gained 10% day, day before yesterday. And you can see even Orlando also, also follows suit. Gaining because of these two, two, these two companies operating in the, in the downstream, uh, uh, in the upstream sector. Mm. So, uh, 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 they are into all exploration, uh, all exploration. So, these companies are, uh, tends to benefit from this uh, uh, the issue of uh, increasing the level of uh, oil production and also the 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 other issue that's surrounding uh, our oil output so so 
this, this things, this uh, particular issue has made uh, has made our uh, oil and gas sector to start responding to start responding to this uh, 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 information, and that's reason why we are seeing it as uh, we speak. Even this morning, we should be expecting that the Orlando also will gain today. We should be expecting that supply will continue to gain in the in the near future. All right, Jamie Mohammed, head of capital market APT Securities and Fund Limited. I must thank you for your time on Business Daily today. We appreciate your contributions. Thank you very much. Oh, all right. Oh, with that, is a wrap on the show for the week. We'll be back on Monday with a weekly review. I mean, Business Daily will with focus on, of course, the review of major economic activities for the year. I am Yusuf Akobu. <laughs>